Welcome back, folks, to a brand new video. Morocco. Full of color, warmth, and charm. Morocco overflows with beauty, from the dramatic Atlas Mountains stretching far throughout the country to the sparkling sea. Its unique landscape and culture are the reasons why you would visit. So if it's your first time going, you're in for a surprise. So here are 10 beautiful places to visit in Morocco. Now before you even watch this video, don't forget to hit that like button, obviously for the YouTube algorithm. Number one, it's so weird. Situated on Morocco's Atlantic coast, Essaouira is a great place to get away from the heat and the bustle of the bigger cities. In the 1960s, the seaside town was a popular hangout for icons such as Bob Marley and even Jimi Hendrix. The beach is well known for kite surfing, while the town charms with the narrow streets, red and blue painted houses and ramparts that overlook the busy harbour. Essaouira is known for its quality seafood, a beautiful coastal town and a perfect location for escaping the stresses of daily life. Number 2 Fez Medieval Fez served as Morocco's capital for more than 400 years and is still an important religious and cultural centre. The old walled part of the city was founded in the 9th century and recognised by UNESCO for its historical importance of the Idrisid dynasty architecture. Overall, Fez is the cultural heart of Morocco where many of the country's handicrafts originate has plenty of history and a truly mysterious and winding Medina, unlike any other in Morocco. And don't forget, Fez is one of the oldest cities in Africa and is well worth the visit. And don't forget the Al Karawin, which is a mosque and associated university as one of the oldest in the world. By the way, the city of Meknes is 50 minutes away by train and it's also known for its imperial past so it's something that you could also do while visiting Fez. Number 3 Marrakesh Visiting Marrakesh is like an attack on the senses. It's vibrant, colourful, historic and totally amazing to visit. The city's historic old town fills the air with the smell of spices, food and sometimes the tanneries are inescapable. For an authentic experience, just embrace the chaos and stay within the city walls in a traditional Riyadh. Then go shopping in the maze like souks and don't forget to bargain. Be sure to explore the palaces, and from here in Marrakesh is where you can take multiple trips towards places such as the Atlas Mountains and many other excursions, so don't forget to check it out. Number 4. Eight bin Hadoud Eight bin Hadoud in Morocco is a beautiful mud brick fortified village located in the southeast of the country and has been a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1987. The small village was built around 1000 years ago and was then an important point along the caravan route. Today, 
it's one of the most interesting places to visit in Morocco and the most attractive stop for round trips across the country. Due to its unique architecture and incredibly magical ambience, it's actually become a film set for many famous movies. For example, Gladiator, Lawrence of Arabia, and even that crappy season 8 series Number 5. Marzuga Located on the edge of the Erg Chebi Dune Sea, the small town of Marzuga acts as a gateway to the dramatic wilderness of the Sahara Desert. It's right here where you will find an authentic experience of Bedouin life. The best way to explore the dramatic natural surroundings of Merzuga is on the camelback or jeep. It's truly an unforgettable experience and one of the best things you can do in Morocco, especially if you want a desert adventure. Number 6 Tangier. Tangier is the gateway to Africa for those travelling by sea from southern Europe. This beautiful and fascinating city had played a major role in the history of Morocco in the 20th century. That's connected with the writing and study and appreciation of literature. And it's this very history and culture that attracts tourists far and wide. For example, Tangier is what inspired famous works like the movie Sheltering Sky or the novel Naked Lunch. So if you're into history and you enjoy the historical vibes and the chill vibes of the cafes overlooking the harbour and being close to the beach, then Tangier is the perfect trip for your holiday. Number 8. Chef Shawin. Nestled amidst the scenic peaks of the mountains, Chef Shawin is a small town in a big landscape. It is the centre of creativity, attracting painters and photographers with its clear light, serene blue painted houses. The old quarter of the town is heavily influenced by Islamic and Andalusian architecture. You can browse local arts and crafts in the quaint shops of the Medina or enjoy a drink 
or sample fine Moroccan cuisine, the surrounding countryside is also full of beautiful hiking trails. Number 9. Imsuan. Agadir sits by the Atlantic Ocean on Morocco's southern coast, virtually destroyed and then rebuilt following an earthquake in 1960. And just a short ride away lies another place that you should visit. Morocco's hidden gem, Imsuan, is rapidly becoming one of the world's favourite surf trip destinations laid-back and tranquil old fishing town and its traditional charm making it a favourite for many visiting Morocco. It's great to visit during the winter and its beautiful scenery and two versatile surf spots make it the ultimate surf trip destination. Number 10. Rabat. Situated on the coast, Rabat is the country's capital and one of the top Morocco tourist attractions. The year-round good weather, tranquil seaside location and its iconic landmarks, including the historical Hassan, are the only couple of reasons behind its popularity. And I mean Hassan Tower. Don't miss the old town. So get out your wallet because you're about to spend some serious money as you visit Rabat's ancient Medina. Walk through the winding alleyways and the stores of this old city to get that real authentic feel of Rabat. This is where you'll find the best shopping in the city and local cuisine. And remember, don't ever miss sampling the food. So that's it, that was Morocco and I can easily tell you from experience it's one of the best places that I've ever been to and I haven't even been to 60% of the country. Even if you speak Arabic, you know, every country has a different dialect so maybe I pronounce some of these locations wrong but that doesn't matter. I highly recommend you visiting, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you all on the next one. As always, be good, be calm, be careful, peace.